All right, everyone, we are going to start learning practical tools we can apply each and every day to our lives to help us change, transform, and continue to chase our dreams. Now, if you have made any type of change in your life in the past, you understand that it requires self-discipline. It requires consistency. If you, for example, wanted to learn a new language, you understood that you had to constantly do it. You have to do it in repetition, repetition, repetition until you got to the point where you felt you're comfortable to be able to speak this language, right? This is what human life is all about. You know, once you change something about yourself, everything about you transforms. Your physical and your mental state will completely change. And this is, it's also important to understand that change is important. We have to change as human beings. Just think about it. When we were children, we had to learn how to crawl. We had to learn how to walk. We had to learn how to communicate with the people around us. And the way we did that was we learned by imitation. We watched the people around us and then the will inside of us will not stop until we finally got up on our own two feet and we were able to communicate effectively so the people around us can understand what we want. This is why change for me is critical, is vital. There's no one on this planet should just remain static. You have to grow. You have to continue to challenge yourself, push yourself. This is why I truly believe that um, we as human beings, we have no common measure. You get pressured so much in life that there's nothing you can do but to change and to transform and to become something different, right? And so the way that we start, we begin to do that is we start by changing our belief systems. We have to believe that only us have the power to direct this life that we have, this body that we own. Only us, nothing outside of us can actually direct this life. And I think Albert Einstein once said that the most important thing that we can do as human beings is to decide whether we live in a hostile or friendly universe. And what he was trying to do with that statement was to get us to understand that we are projecting what's inside of us into the world right? I know some people will be like, oh, well, but I see my neighbor, I see the car. What are you saying that I'm projecting what is inside of me into the world? What I mean is that there's this uh, there's this concept of synchronicity, which I will talk about on another, on another episode, but there's this concept of synchronicity where it means that you are drawing, you're attracting what you truly are inside of you, right? So if something's not going the right in your life, all you have to do is look inside of you. And this is why I spoke about introspection in the last episode is because if you see things that aren't going the way that you want them to go, you want to be able to ask yourself qualifying questions that get you to the bottom of why things aren't working. So we have to change our belief systems. We have to understand that only us have the power to direct our own lives. You know, I read... Um, the Gulag Archipelago, I think, two, several months ago. The one line that struck me in that book was when Alexandra decided, he actually said that he is in charge of his own life. After living in such horrible human conditions in concentration camps, he still believed that no one can take his happiness away. No one can decide who he is going to be after he was free. No one can decide that for him. He's just going to decide for himself that this is the path I'm going to live for my life. You know, I would love to talk to someone about that because there's this rumination of the mind. You know, sometimes you decide, okay, I'm going to do this and it works only today, but not tomorrow. <laughs> That's what rumination of the mind is. You decide, okay, I'm going to be a good person. And then tomorrow you see, you find yourself just questioning life and questioning why you decide to be a good person. So it's just that the rumination of the mind cannot let you forget the bad that has been done to you in the past, right? This is why it's important to have peace of mind, which is which brings me to my second point. My second point is we have to have peace of mind. And the way we do that is when we find ourselves drifting to thoughts that don't serve us. We want to return ourselves back by affirming our goals. We affirm our goals. That's why we wrote, we wrote our goals down, I think, in several episodes, right? We wrote our goals down. We know what they are and we're actively pursuing them. So when we find our mind drifting, we just return ourselves to our goals. 
And, you know, I forgot to mention that to change your belief systems, you have to do something what's called affirmations. If you don't know what affirmations are, just Google them online and find good ones, good ones from people that are actual, that you actually admire. So if you admire athletes, go Google them and find out what affirmations they use in the morning, how they psych themselves up to go and play. You know, this is, a, this is vital like there's i've been doing research about this and i couldn't believe what i've been finding that athletes do visualizations they do affirmations they do meditations this is just things that you know we i would never even think that athletes would would do i would just think that they just went out they trained and they performed now i for one i'm going to be applying this because i just learned that i actually have to go on a diet <laughs> I have to psych myself to go on a diet. Now, I don't go on diets. I just exercise. I exercise rigorously so I can avoid diets because I don't like diets because I feel like I'm being constrained. I feel like I'm restricting myself. But now I know that I have to go on a diet is actually mandatory because I have to regulate my sleep. My circadian rhythm has been messed up. So I have to go on a diet and I have to do it for my voice as well. Um... So I am starting to psych myself. I'm not going to start dieting tomorrow. I'm going to possibly start in September or if September fails, I'll do it probably in January. Um, I don't know, but I'll be psyching myself until I get to the point where I feel like I'm strong enough to just go on a diet to help myself, right? So I'll be doing this. I'll be changing my belief systems about diets, which is I believe that diets are restricting. So I have to change my belief about that. So my belief now will be that this is important for me. It's important for me to go on a diet. That's just a belief. And then how I gain peace of mind is by knowing that by dieting, I'm going to be able to get good sleep. I'm not good. My vocals are not going to be too strained. I could lo talk for long periods of time without actually being parsed, which is the goal that I'm trying to get to. So that's what I'm doing. Peace of mind, reaffirming the goals and changing my beliefs. And that's what we're going to be doing next week. All right, guys. See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>